Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I'm feeling like there's somebody who um, they may know somebody is about to approach you and they're very burdened by this. Okay, you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the most loving queen in the deck. Okay, very beautiful, very intuitive. You've got this peaceful, I was just going to say that, and the earth angel energy comes out. You've got this peaceful, loving energy. I'm kind of getting the sense that um, you're starting to feel tired from this week. I don't know. It's just been a long week, okay? You may be wanting to, like I said, hit the pool, or um, I'm feeling a lot of water here. So maybe you're just wanting a bubble bath. Or a spiritual bath. You just want to soak your body right now. But you are, you, you're keeping your balance. You're, um, you're making it to the end of the week. Yeah, can I just make it to the end of the week? So what's going on, you guys? Some kind of fight, maybe? It's just been a, it's been a battle this week? Or did you, uh, have you been fighting with people this week? I'm seeing a lot of chaos, a lot of drama. What is going on? You know, um, I feel like somebody is telling this person, this person from your past, they know someone who's coming forward with a love offer, okay? They're having a, they're having a really rough week, too, <laughs> They're telling uh, somebody is telling them, I'm coming in to give the collective a love offer. I want to meet them, I want to talk to them. If you don't want them anymore, if you don't want them, I want them. I want to get to know them. So you're about to meet somebody new, but it's a friend of your ex, and there could be a fight, an argument that goes down. Yeah, look, this is a king of pentacles who's coming towards you, okay. This is somebody who's serious. They want to get to know you. And it just so happens it's a friend of your person. Yep, and your person is feeling like they're going to miss out. They're, they're going to miss out on this holy grail couple love. They're missing out on um, a very loving, intuitive, beautiful uh, queen of cups, earth angel. You know, they should have never walked away. But somebody is like pushing their way through to you. You know, they, they may, they're they going to have to fight and argue with this person. I feel like whoever this is is telling them, you know, move aside. That's what they're being told by their friend. Move aside. I am going to date the collective. I want to get to know the collective. I'm serious. You know, that's what they're saying. I'm serious about them. I want to I wanna meet them. I want to date them. You know, um, so yeah, they're like, they're telling this person, you know, you, you did all this stuff to the collective. You walked away from them. You had your chance and you missed it. You had your chance. Now I'm going to come in and get my chance with the collective. Yeah, your person from your past, they don't know what to do. They feel like powerless. They feel powerless to do anything because they're being told off by their friend. They're like, hey, you're the one who walked away from the collective. Now I'm going to take, take my chance. I'm going to come in and see if I can have a chance with them. Um, yes. And I feel like this person from your past, they're having to watch. Yeah. This, whoever this is, they're standing up. They're standing up to your person from the past, and they're saying, you know, you put the collective out in the cold. You put them out in the cold. You didn't think they were much. You, you know, I feel like this, look, they know what this person did to you because this is a friend of your person's. This, they've talked to this friend. They've, um, they've shared the information with this friend. This friend knows more about the situation than you do. And, they're, and, and they've seen what this person has done. They know how they've treated you. And they're like, move aside. You know, move aside. I'm going to, I want to come in and date the collective. 
I want this earth angel. They're very loving, very beautiful. You're probably very abundant as well. You know, so yeah, whoever this is, is putting this person, yeah, they're feeling defeated. They're putting this person in their place. Not only that, but they're losing a friend. Because this friend is like literally kind of pushing them out of the way. Oh boy. Yeah, they're feeling betrayed, I feel like, from this friend. Okay? Not from you, from this friend. So yeah, you're about to have a new option here in love. And I feel like when you meet this person, you're gonna, you're you're gonna go for it. You're gonna move forward with this person. And man, your ex is gonna be in a whole lot of regret. They're kind of they're kind of praying that you don't get with them. You know, um, they're they're sort of saying a prayer. Please don't let these two end up together. The thought of anybody else with you is um, killing this person inside, but it's it's actually a good friend of theirs. It may be, it's either a friend or a family member. I feel like it's a best friend. Yeah, look, because this best friend sees you as the one for them. They're defending you, and they're coming in to date you, collective, so get ready. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sagittarius, this person from your past, they could possibly be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces. Oh yeah, but this, uh, this new person, they're not backing down. This new person's not backing down at all. They want you. Okay, and you're, you're masculine from your past. They know they're going to have to watch you be happy with this new person. You know, the king and queen of pentacles, once you meet this new person, you're going to be in a very dedicated and committed relationship. They're going to want to get to know you. They're going to take it slow. They're going to be grounded. They're going to be stable for you. You know... Um, they're going to have your back. They're going to defend you, stand up for you, and protect this connection. Yeah, you're their empress. Ooh, collective, definitely divine feminine energy here, high priestess energy. You can feel that something is changing. You can feel someone else's energy in your energy vicinity right you let's just say you've got an energy bubble around you yeah in your radius right right here this is your radius of your energy and you can pick up that somebody new is approaching you may even know who it is as i'm sitting here talking about it you know a spirit may have been showing you visions or you could have um, seen somebody's face in your dreams Okay, but you can definitely feel this energy in your space, okay? Because you're kind of holding up this ring and looking in it like, who is this? Is, who, whose energy is this? I feel something new. <laughs> I feel like someone new is approaching me. Yeah, that's this person's friend. They see you as their ultimate wish fulfillment. Okay. And this person from your past, they're powerless to do anything about it. They tried to stop this person from coming in. They did. They had a fight, an argument. It could have even gotten physical. Like, I'm literally seeing this new person at the end of a, a, of a, um, at the end of an argument, kind of pushing, shoving them out of the way. It, it, stay out of my way. I'm going to go after the Divine Feminine. They're my wish fulfillment. I've been looking for somebody like this to live my life with and build with my whole entire life. And this is them. I, they're, they're thinking, I don't know. I think you're crazy. You mistreated the collective. You know, you did all this. They're reminding them of everything that they did and said about you. I'm telling you, their friend knows more about this than you do. They've said a lot more to your friend about this than they have to you. So this 
their friend has the details and they're like I'm not going to I'm not going to allow you to stop me after everything that you've done to the divine feminine no way I, look I'm having this victory they're telling this person I'm having this victory whether you like it or not I'm going in I'm going to I'm going to go get the divine feminine you know so this masculine feels completely powerless now. Um, and all they can really do is watch this happen. Yeah, you're about to get new love. Look, this is a new beginning in love for you. They're coming in for you, Divine Feminine. And Spirit's leading them. Spirit's leading the way. Because they know that this person, this King of Pentacles, is going to treat you the right way. They're going to give you the loyalty that you deserve. They're standing up for you already. Spirit, I feel like Spirit was waiting, right, to give you new love. They were waiting to find the one who was actually going to defend you and stand up and take a stand for what they want. And that's this new person. This person from your past, all they did was play games. All they did was hurt you and... Um, walk away and leave you wondering what the heck was going on you know they uh they rejected you they put you out in the cold so now this friend knows all of this and they're coming in to get this divine feminine and this is somebody who's going to treat you the right way yeah look this person from your past they know it's over they know they could be having nightmares about this. This is like a nightmare for them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, once you meet and get with this new person, they're going to be just a distant memory. And they realize that. And they know they only have themselves to blame for this. And that's what this King of Pentacles reminded them of you only have yourself to blame you did this you did you the way you treated the collective i'm not going to treat the collective that way i'm going to date the collective court them the proper way and be good to them you know and this this masculine knows it and i feel like they know they can't compete with this king of pentacles because they're coming in as a hangman okay they're coming in in the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Yeah. And they're very emotional over this. Watching you two have a new beginning. Watching you move on to new love. And leaving them behind in the past. Okay. Ooh, boy. And they're losing a friend as well. They're watching this King of Pentacles come towards you. This is going to lead to a commitment, okay, this new person. I feel like you will end up um, maybe even creating a family with this new person, building, definitely building an empire with this new person, okay? You're both going to be very abundant and stable. This um, new person coming in, they could have their own business or be a boss, you know? Yep, look. Nothing's going to stop their friend from coming towards you. Yep, yeah, you're free. This person saw to that, right? This person from your past made sure that you were free and single because they walked away from you, okay? And you, um, you have the right to be with whoever is going to make you happy, okay? So I feel like they know. They know that this new love is coming towards you and ooh, they're feeling hopeless, like I said, powerless. Um, they're very, very deep in their emotions right now. A lot of waves of emotions and tears are crashing over this person. Uncontrollable tears for some of them because now they feel desperate. Yeah, here's the tears. Here's the tears. They're feeling desperate to hang on to your connection, but you're free. And, um, and this new love is coming in to love you the right way. You're about to get in a commitment. Um, I feel like they're watching you like a hawk. But the, see, the thing is, is this person, all they did was watch you. 
They didn't take it. They didn't make any kind of move towards you. You know, and you're single. You are single and you're ready to be loved the right way. You're also um, receiving a lot of blessings right now. A lot of abundance, success. You could be a Virgo. You could be a Gemini. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, I mean, and here's the thing. That's how they, they left you behind. Single. If this person had made better choices when it came to love and how they treated you, they wouldn't be in this predicament. You know, they could be with you building something solid, something committed. They, they could be with you living in wish fulfillment, but instead someone else is going to come in for, those, for that wish fulfillment. <laughs> you know, yeah, and they're powerless to stop it from happening. Mm-hmm. Because they know. They know that they're at fault for this. All right, what, can, what else can you show me? Yeah, they're very irritated. Very irritated, aggravated. Um, I just feel like this person, with everything, this is everything that the friend told them, too. You know? This was your choice. You made this bed. Um, you mistreated the collective. I'm, I'm coming in with it for a chance with the collective. They hate hearing that. Okay? They can't stand it. They keep um, going over it, like replaying everything that this friend said to them in their head. Because they know the friend is right. Yeah. They keep replaying everything that this person said to them. I feel like they, um, they were also very hopeful that you two would get back together someday. But this is a cycle that's coming to an end with the world card here. It's over. You're free and excited for new things. You can sense that new love is coming your way, collective. You're enthusiastic. You're taking a leap of faith, starting a new cycle here. Okay? And about to get new love. And there's really nothing that this person can do. They tr already tried to stop this King of Pentacles, and they can't. All right, so what else can you show me? New energy coming in for you. Get ready for the new stuff. Uh, I kid you not. All right. Yep, you've been patient long enough with this person. Okay, you've been patient. You've been flexible. Okay, but now you're releasing this past connection and you're moving forward, right? You're closing out a cycle here with a 10 and you're saying, I'm done. I want new stuff. You're inviting new things into your life, new soulmate connections. This is you releasing, starting something new. This is the fool card in this deck, okay? Starting a new adventure, a new phase in your life. You're balanced, you're stable, you're peaceful, you're calm, you've been manifesting, and here comes new love and money, okay? You're about to be blessed in a huge way, collective. Look at, this is the Ten of Cups in this deck. Wish fulfillment, okay? And the scales are being balanced. Why? Because you did the work. You did what spirit wanted you to do. You've put in the effort into yourself. Okay? Um, and now you're, uh, you're ready. You're ready for this new cycle. It's beautiful. And you're about to get love. You're about to get money in abundance. Yeah. And you're releasing and walking away from this past person. Feeling blessed. I'm telling you, feeling blessed. So get ready for this new love coming in. They, um, th for this reading, this person, this new person is a friend of your past person, okay? Um, and uh, your past person, your ex, they're falling apart over this. They tried to stop this person from coming in and they can't. That already tells me that this new person has proven some worth here, Okay. They're not going to let this past person stop them. So, yeah, get ready for this new relationship that you're about to be in. 
uh, you're going to end up getting married to this person, building a family with this person, um, and continuing to build a, a business with this person. So, yes, and your person from your past, they get to watch you be happy.